Texas Tech is deeply rooted in agriculture, and proof of this is the Dairy Barn, one of the oldest and most recognizable buildings on campus. And with June being National Dairy Month, we wanted to take you inside and walk through this local landmark's nearly nine decade history. Designed by Fort Worth architect W.C. Hedrick, construction on the Dairy Barn started in 1925. It is, along with administration and the little judging pavilion that's up the road here, uh, among the oldest buildings on campus. In the beginning, the barn had enough land around it for a dairy cattle herd, started by Professor W.L. Stengel. Though empty now, the barn originally had milking facilities for 40 cows, calf stalls, feed rooms, a chiller, and an office. Right now we are in the first story of the barn. Now right now this is where the milking took place and back there were the cattle pens. Also on this floor was a sunroom and in the second story of the barn was the haylock. There used to be metal tracks running all the way through the interior of the barn and that connected the pens, the milking area and the hayloft. The tracks were used to transport milk around the barn and feed to the cattle. And though it's hard to imagine now, this building once housed a bustling business. By the summer of 1926, six students had organized a student dairy association. The next year, 1927, construction on the barn was finished and the school's dairy manufacturer's apartment was established. It was at this time approved students were encouraged to bring up to three of their own dairy cows to campus to keep at the barn. There was a building on uh, what would be the south end of the dairy barn that was the milk processing facility. Milk produced there benefited the university and its students because it was sold to the campus cafeteria and the home economics food labs. As the dairy grew, students who worked there would deliver milk, butter, and cream to Lubbock residents as a way to make money for school. It was a way they could help pay for their education and certainly get experience that, you know, if you're not only the cow side of it, but the milk processing side of it, many of those students went on to go into the food industry. But by 1935, students could no longer house their dairy livestock on campus because Professor Stengel's herd grew too large and successful. Texas Tech's dairy industry continued to thrive at the Dairy Barn location until 1966. That is when the dairy manufacturer's department moved to new quarters and the barn was then stripped of all milking equipment in the overhead track system. The barn soon fell into disrepair and some parts of it were torn down to make room for the foreign language building. However, in the last 25 years, Texas Tech alumni raised tens of thousands of dollars to renovate and to ultimately save the barn. And in 1992, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places, proving that this vital piece of Texas Tech's history will not be forgotten. If you talk to people who have a long history, particularly former students, who uh, they all think very highly of the dairy barn, they have great memories of it. This is Lacey Nobles for Texas Tech Today.